Hello dear students, I am Sahana Prasad from Department of Commerce, Gopal Swami PU College, Mysore. In today's business studies class, let's continue with chapter 6 that is social responsibilities of business and business ethics. This is session 2. In previous session, I explained the meaning of social responsibility, need for social responsibility, arguments for and against social responsibility. In this session, let's go through the reality of social responsibility, kinds of social responsibility and social responsibility towards various interest groups. Now, let us see what is the reality of social responsibility. Business objective is not only to earn profit, but business should also know its social responsibility. Business cannot be done in isolation. Business is a part of society and ultimately business must serve to the society. Now let us see what are the factors which have forced and persuaded businessmen to consider social responsibilities as one of its objective. And let's also see the conditions which were favorable to the development of the business concern with social responsibilities. First one is threat of public regulation. See, threat of public regulation means here the democratically elected government, it has to act for the welfare of the society. Here, the uh, responsibility of the democratically elected government is to look after the welfare of all the states and also they have to take care of all the sections of the society. If business institutions operate in an irresponsible manner, then obviously government will take strict action against them. And this is the threat of public regulation. And it is the one of the reasons where business feels that yes, we have to take into consideration the social responsibility also. Threat of public regulation, Andre. You have government to do job dari, you know, yella states do no welfare not kodu, but the yella sections of the society do no kapadu. Ega business in a irresponsible retailer behave martha ho, restrict action impose martha the government. Athara vandu threat iruvaga business in a other social responsibility na tilko veko. That is threat of public regulation. Next is pressure of labor movement. Nowadays, labor has become more organized and educated. Now, today we have uh, many uh, labor unions and uh, labor movement. Business cannot act on its own or as per their own wish. And here business cannot work in the policy of hire and fire. Beka daga kelsa keto gorado, berde daga fire madadu, atwa or na kelsa na tegda purdu, atrela madake, agala. So, iga labor movement, labor unions and tellano form agide. So, labor ge, laborers ge, employees ge, yene no, wale dag beku, wale fair wages kod beku, wale working environment create mar kod beku. So, socially responsible agi business so. So that is pressure of labor movement. So this has made the business to act in a socially responsible manner. Next is impact of consumer consciousness. The development of education and mass media and increasing competition in the market and that all these have made consumer conscious about the right and power. Who is a consumer? Consumer or a customer is a person who buy or who avails goods and services. So customer knows or a consumer knows what are his power, what are his rights because of uh, increasing in competition and uh, development of education and of course through mass media. Earlier there was a principle let the buyer beware. 
But nowadays, there is another principle that is customer is the king. Nowadays, business have started following customer oriented practices. They always think from the point of view of customer. Consumer, jagrikate in the irbeku, products na tol bekadre anta ittu, but ega customer is the king anta vanta principle. Ide. So, ye principle ega follow after other in the business. So, customer oriented practices na follow madbekarate. So, that is impact of consumer consciousness. Development of social standard for business business you cannot consider as money crazy entities uh, earlier you, you know now you cannot say that uh, they can just mint the money and uh, at any cost and they can get away with all kinds of business practices but now the new social standards it says that business should serve the people of the society business is also a part of society business cannot be done in isolation it is the society which permits the business to do its activities and it is the society which uh, permits business to exist and grow and of course it is on the basis of social standards business na yello society in the horgade hogi isolational madakagala so business is very much a part of society business has to be there in the society society allows business to uh, grow uh, society allows business to exist and grow and of course it has to follow certain social standard next is development of business education See, educated persons like customers, consumers, investors, employees and owners, they all have education and knowledge about a social responsibility. And all these people, they have become more sensitive uh, towards social issues. And earlier, this kind of education, it was not available. The social responsibility, they know. What is social responsibility? Owners, employees, customers, investors, they all know the social issues. So they have certain education about the social responsibility. So that is development of business education. Next, relation, relationship between social interest and business interest business enterprises they have uh, started feeling that social interest and business interest it is not it is not contradictory it, it is not opposite but these are complementary to each other if a business has to grow then it should serve the society and of course it can serve for a of course the business can grow for a longer period of time and of course business is recognized as an essential element of a modern civilized society so like ultimate agi a business to long term ali profit markondu tumba varsha growth ali iddu chanagi business na markondu hogbeku andre it should serve the uh, people of the society so that is relationship between social interest and business interest it is not opposite but these two are complementary to each other next is development of professional managerial class professional management education in universities and some uh, specialized management institutes they have created a separate class of professional managers they have got a different attitude about the uh, social responsibility iga eshtondo professional management education irbodu athwa specialized management institutes irbodu alli social responsibility anade ivanta separate subject irutte so alli eshtondo professional managers enirutte munche avarge iddiddu uh, attitude Iwaga, badla now professional managers they are 
into uh, satisfying the various interest groups of the society so that they can successfully run their business for a long period of time. So this is development of professional managerial class. So this is the reality of social responsibility. Ya ke social responsibility business assume mark kol beko. Kelu do kelu sati social responsibility na or assume mark kol le beka gat. Threat of public regulation, pressure of labor movement, impact of consumer consciousness, development of social standard for business, development of business education, relationship between social interest and business interest, development of professional managerial class. Next topic is kinds of social responsibility. Kinds of social responsibility. Social responsibility can be broadly classified into four categories. First one is economic responsibility. Every business is engaged in economic activity. So the prime social responsibility of every business must be economic responsibility. They should sell their products and they should provide the services which satisfy the need of the society. Next is legal responsibility. See, every business it has to operate within the laws. The laws which are governed by the government. So the laws, the rules and regulations which are there, it is good for the society. And if a business follow all rules and regulations, you can call that enterprise as a socially responsible enterprise. So that is legal responsibility. Next is ethical responsibility. Ethical responsibility expects a certain type of behavior or a conduct from the company and this behavior may not be documented by law. Ethics what is morally right and wrong from the point of view of society that is ethics. To make you understand this let me give you one example. Business has to uh, respect the religious sentiments and dignity dignity of people while advertising a product if a business is giving an advertisement uh, it should not hurt the sentiments of the people and there should be a voluntary action in performing this responsibility advertisements this is one example which i can give you to make you understand ethical responsibility so it should be a voluntary action from the business. Next is discretionary, discretionary responsibility. See discretionary responsibility means these are the voluntary responsibility from business like uh, helping poor people or uh, giving donations to charitable institution or helping people during natural calamities like flood. So this is discretionary responsibility. Business objective is not only to make profit but they should also help the society in, uh, in case of difficulties. So this is discretionary responsibility. So these are the different kinds of social responsibility. Economic responsibility, legal responsibility, ethical responsibility and discretionary responsibility. Next is social responsibility towards different interest groups now let us see what are the social responsibility towards different interest groups first one responsibility towards the shareholders or owners business enterprise they have a responsibility to provide fair return to the shareholders and owners 
because shareholders and owners are those people who invest capital into business and also they should uh, ensure safety for such investment and uh, and also the business should provide full information uh, regarding its working and and as well as the various schemes uh, of future growth so this is towards shareholders and owners next is responsibility towards workers they should the management should provide fair wages to workers and also they should pro provide proper working conditions and the enterprise it must also respect the democratic rights of the workers to form unions if they provide all these they can definitely win the cooperation of workers so this is the social responsibility towards workers next is social responsibility towards consumers consumers means customers the business should provide right quality and quantity of goods at the right price and of course it should also take a few precautions regarding adulteration black marketing poor quality lack of desired services and they should not give any misleading and dishonest advertisements and so on and of course the enterprise must provide right information about the product which is purchased by consumers so this is the responsibility towards consumers next is towards government and community the the business must respect the laws of the country and it should also pay taxes which is due by them to the government it should pay taxes regularly to the government and of course business must behave as a good citizen and it should serve well to the society it should also protect the environment by taking a, a pollution control measures by installing uh, chimneys and the last is it should build a good image in the society so this is the social responsibility towards different interest groups it is responsibility towards the shareholders and owners workers consumers and government and community so in this session i explained the reality of social responsibility kinds of social responsibility and social responsibility towards different interest groups and i hope you have understood today's session thank you